In this video, we are going to show you how to connect your Java applications to autonomous transaction processing. My name is Nirmala Sundarappa. I'm the Principal Product Manager for Oracle JDBC and UCP. Let's begin with prerequisites. The first prerequisite is to provision the autonomous transaction processing. Sign in with your cloud credentials at cloud.oracle.com and create an ATP database by filling in few details. The second prerequisite is to download the client credentials from Service Console. After your ATP is created, click on Service Console and log in as admin user. Click on Download Client Credentials to download the wallet zip file by entering the wallet password. Make sure to save this to a secure location where only authorized people have access to it. The zip file contains all the files listed here. The third prerequisite is to install the latest JDK. Make sure to have JDK 10 or JDK 9 or JDK 8 update 162. Also, download the latest 18.3 JDBC driver and UCP. Along with the JDBC driver and UCP, you also need Oracle PKI.jar and OSTT underscore core.jar and OSTT underscore cert.jar if you are using Oracle wallets. There are two ways to connect to ATP one using Java key stores and the second using Oracle wallets. I will walk you through the code samples to connect to ATP using both these approaches. I have downloaded UCP sample.java from GitHub. The first step is to update the database URL, username and password pointing to the ATP database that you have created. Also use TNS alias from tnsnames.ora. tnsnames.ora can be found from the client credential zip file that you download from your cloud account. In this sample, we are using JDBC test underscore medium. The TNS admin should be pointing to the location where you have unzipped the client credentials. Note that TNS admin can be set as part of the database URL. And this is a feature which was introduced in 18.3. If you are using a JDBC driver that is lower than 18.3, then you can set TNS admin either as a system property or as a connection property. Another important file that you need to know is ojdbc.properties file. And this is the file that is also part of the, the client credential zip file. And here you can add Oracle wallet related and also JKS related connection properties. And this is also a new feature that was introduced in 18.3. Now let's go back to the sample. Let's see what the sample does. We are going to create a table, customer table, and insert two records into this table and update one of the record. And then we will show the two records from the table. After everything is done, we are going to clean up and drop the table. Let's see these code samples in action. Let's see how to use Java Key Store to connect to ATP. I have created a folder ATP testing and placed all the files. You can see UCP sample.java and the folder lib contains the JDBC driver and UCP.jar from 18.3. You can see that the JDBC driver is from 18.3. I have unzipped the wallet credentials to the folder wallet underscore JDBC test. You can see ojdbc.properties file and also JKS and Oracle wallet related files. As part of connecting to ATP using JKS, you need to edit ojdbc.properties file. Make sure you add the JKS related connection properties to this file and also the trust store password and the key store password uh, should be updated to the password that you used while downloading the client credential zip file. Also, make sure you comment the Oracle wallet related connection property. And these are the changes that we need to connect, uh, connect to ATP using JKS. Let's compile the Java code. Let's run the Java sample. You can see that we successfully connected to ATP using JKS. Now let's use Oracle wallets to connect to ATP. I'm using UCP sample.java and in the lib directory, I have added Oracle PKI.jar, OSTT underscore cert.jar and OSTT underscore core.jar in addition to the JDBC driver and UCP.jar. These three additional jars are required while connecting using Oracle wallets. 
wallet underscore JDBC test has all the client credentials files unzipped. Open ojdbc.properties file. Make sure that you have the wallet related connection property uncommented. Now let's compile the code sample. Let's run the code sample. You can see that we successfully connected to ATP using Oracle wallets. Thank you for watching the video.